I believe we're going to get right back to the action. Odyssey, who uh, just two days ago finishing third place at Spectrum Smash over in North Jersey, looking to reclaim his turf here at the House of 3000 against its very own Dill. Playing a Rob, interestingly enough. Now, we uh, yeah, we uh, have a few Robs in, in uh, Philadelphia. Obviously, uh, GWJ, who uh, wound up finishing ninth at uh, Let's Make Moves in the preseason, losing eventually to uh, the House of 3000's very own Jen, oddly know, enough. But, uh, yeah, Dill, a uh, very different kind of Rob, very unique uh, play style. I don't know how you land against Palutena, but he's got to figure out a way, and he's got to figure it out fast. Yeah, no, for sure. Dill actually choosing to play Rob over Diddy. He had, he had a bit of a main crisis, man. Um, <laughs> and it wasn't pretty, let me tell you. But he did eventually stick with his ball main, which was Rob, and who is incredible in this game. As he takes stage control, and now, oh, wow. Oh, and immediately just gives it up as I say that. Dill, you can't make me a liar, bro. Yeah, no, Dill is, uh, he's trying to figure out ways to keep out that Palutena. It's just, it's going to be a matter of, uh, of who blinks first. It seems like who's going to, come up with the first unsafe option will be the one who will be made to pay for it the hardest and indeed the a slight lead for dill at the moment but we know that that can change in an instant with one or two of those nares and that rob can get uh pretty much escorted across the river sticks real quick yeah no and notice how odyssey Im immediately after he got down thrown by rob just actually used a uh, uh, palutena's teleport to actually teleport cancel to the pl to the end of the stage no oh so good oh ooh, so good. It's, a, it's fine it's fine oh my oh god my. two framing twice oh my god what's a tier list wolf what, what's a tier it doesn't list? exist it doesn't exist in this game because so many characters are good oh you don't my. know who's good Oh Beautiful my, that, up air, man. That up air, Odyssey reminding us what a tier list is, perhaps. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, hold up. Say no more. <laughs> Say no more. It's 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 the story of the match. It's the flow of the game, man. Mm -hmm. though, I will, though I will say, here's a line for you, even on commentary, Wolf carries. So there you go. <laughs> Pound that. Nah, man. Believe me, the pleasure is all mine. You're doing fantastic. As Jen and uh, I was going to say Rob, but I mean, I guess I wouldn't be wrong. Right? So, sometimes you identify with your character in more ways than one, you know? <laughs> For sure. Absolutely. 92%. And this is when it can, things can get tricky. As if Jen's off stage, he can get caught with the downer, can get caught with the back air, and that's something that he wants. I'm sorry, Jen. I'm sorry. Odyssey. My bad. So I many, mean, so many pals on this. I mean, he's, he's playing about as aggressively as Jen at this point, trying to stay in the face of that Rob because he knows if he, if he is kept at a certain distance, that could mean big trouble, and indeed, somehow Beep Boop still works in this game. <laughs> and uh, It's even worse. <laughs> oh, absolutely, man. I mean, and that's the thing about Rob, quite honestly, is that I feel like that's why he found so much uh, success in the early stages of the game, is because his game plan really didn't change all that much, and you uh, eventually the game's going to change around it, but it's going to kind of remain the same. I don't really foresee uh, the Rob meta advancing all that much. I'm sure that people like Dill could very well make a fool of me for saying such. But I mean, what what is what are you expecting uh, from Dill that we have not seen? It's the consistency of Rob that uh, that helps so much. It's the uh, you know what you know what he is able to do. You know that it is good enough to uh, get you to uh, perhaps even tournament wins, as Dill would like to uh, as Dill would like to prove here in this winner's quarterfinal. But Odyssey, of course, saying, you know what? Change is oh, good. Oh, my God. Beautiful placement of the gyro. That helping was... him out at the last minute. You play Pokemon, right? Oh, absolutely. That was future sight. Oh, yeah. That was, he, put the, he put the gyro there. He was like, come later, later, <laughs> later. <laughs> oh, As he beautiful. uses the gyro to... Oh, my. And Dill turning on the Jets in more way than one. For sure. He's going to burn up that last stack of Odyssey. That was immense placement by the you know, with the gyro. Putting it there, so Odyssey had very, very limited options. He chose to jump. He chose to jump. When when Dill caught, when Dill, when, when Odyssey jumped, Dill knew this is what I wanted as he preps himself for that back air because Odyssey needed to find a way to get in, and then Dill just smacked it right out of the park right there, man. And, uh, I mean, if anyone is capable of taking down a Palutena with this, uh, with this Rob, which seems like it's, which seems like such 
a, a dangerous proposition. I, I know, mean, right? He, he like, did beat all the Palutena's last week. He beat Jen. Yeah, man. He beat Frozen and Utopian Ray. I mean, just dismantling the Goddess of Light and perhaps right on cue. Honestly, hearing me saying that, the Palutena chased away. Enter the Greninja. Mm -hmm. We have the Water Frog versus the Machine. Hopefully, he can get... <laughs> Hopefully he can help him rust a little bit because Dill is looking on fire, my man. Absolutely, you know, rust out a lot like the underside of uh, all of our cars here in New York City. Absolutely. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shout outs to Salted Roads. Um, <laughs> hey, yeah, it's even worse than PA, man. You don't want to, you don't even want to know. My sister lives right there. I have an idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, dude, it's like driving through Beirut, I swear. But either way, the laser right in the face and uh, showing no fear. In the, uh, in the eyes of this Greninja, however, oh, looking for that down smash, but will not find it. Nano, keep in mind how many times, keep in mind what Dill does every time the Odyssey down throws him. Um, Odyssey's going to want the drag down up there, but he's he's waiting. He knows what Dill's doing. Oh, my God. Is it? Wow. Oh, beautiful beautiful Shadow Sneak. Oh, my gosh. He knew. He can mash that out. Yeah, oh, you, yeah, you wanted to say beautiful back air again. I know you did, nah, man, yeah. and that was more than <laughs> fitting in that instance. <laughs> Holy smokes. Shoutouts to Ralph, Ralph Macchio, the karate kid out here, kicking Dill right in the face and taking that first stock. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that when you have a lead, you want to extend it as much as possible. At 153 against Rob, you can't afford to get grabbed because that you will die. Like, you were just will die. Mm -hmm. All right? Caught by the gyro on the edge. Looking for that laser, but Odyssey going high. Smart Good option. Move. Good option. And notice how he uses the platform to actually uh, be your versus shurikens. Telling Dill. Oh, well, there you go. I was going to say, telling Dill that, yo, you have to approach me. I have the lead. I don't have to do anything right now. 30%, not that much extra credit, but Odyssey's Odyssey, so I'm, I'm, I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to bring this back. Then. Yeah, absolutely. The question is, I mean, it's... Uh, Again, it's a character that can be aggressive, but kind of has to with the bevy of keep away options that Rob uh, that Rob has. Odyssey navigating them uh, relatively well. Oh! oh, but the SD with the uh, oh, on the down air just not able to uh, not able to catch Dill mid air with the roll of the dice. And you know you have to do things. Crap out. <laughs> you have to crap. You have to do. You have to do something like that, man. Um. I, you don't get to this level without being confident in your place, and that's so huge to a player's mentality. Just sheer confidence, like, I know this is going to work. So unfortunately, Adi missed, uh, you know, Adi missed time because Dill was a, a, a bit away, but I'm going to go ahead and say that, you know, he, he had the right intention because he would have just would have got spiked. Oh, beautiful by Dill. Again, doing the House of 3000 proud here. Had, uh, chasing away the Palutena and... Taking, uh, taking this Greninja down to last stock could very well get the kill here. However, Odyssey having to measure out his approaches. This is about where Dill is uh, going to want to strike. Mm -hmm. And notice the gyro placement. Ooh, Adi air dodging and actually taking the gyro away from him. Notice he he does not want to go off stage, does Odyssey. He knows just Shit, how dangerous Rob can be, especially above the stage. And the thing is, like, if Odyssey is going to have to recover, that's a dangerous proposition, having to recover low. Because even though it's a little harder to hit with the, to connect with that down air than it might seem, you still have to respect that option just because of how absolutely brutal it can be. And just like this, Odyssey, the last stand will happen right here. Oh, my God. He got grabbed. This, this is it. Oh, that is indeed it. And Dill dismantling... Uh, Dismantling the good Greninja. Shoutouts to high school biology class. He had the frog frogs legs. on the table. Absolutely, man. He had frog legs for breakfast. There you go. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto, that Rob of Dill.